Um, I was going to share a little bit about one of the homeschool classes that uh, I'm doing with my toddler. It's uh, mostly older kids. Um, there's a couple younger ones, um, but it's a really neat class, and it's it's really inspired me to um, take the idea of homeschooling more, more seriously. I think I've always kind of been like a public school person. I grew up in school, public school. My husband did public school. Um, him in a small town, me in a bigger town, about the same size as one of the three cities that we live in. My dad was a principal, superintendent, band director. My mom worked in the school off and on. Um, so like very pro public school um, growing up especially and like education, pro education, pro community, all of those things. So this class has really, really, really um, shaped my views on homeschool. Um, and so I'm just gonna show the, the curriculum we're exploring nature with children and it is from raising the blog Raising Little Shoots. You can find it on Teachers Pay Teachers. Ellen Seddon, I believe is how you say her name. Um, it comes with a lot of supplemental or a lot of material and resources. Um, both mine being a toddler, where you're just doing the class, and then like um, today he skipped the journal and the sketch session and he just played on the equipment, and then we, him and I were done with the class. But uh, the way that it looks like, um, it's a co-op, so each mom does a different part. I usually do the ASL part. Start with songs. Our group specifically does a hymn and then a folk song, which are super super fun. Um, so we do those each month. We do those same ones, and then I usually today we did. I did the sign language for the chorus of one of the songs. I think the next couple weeks we're gonna, I'm gonna do caterpillars change into butterflies. Sorry, butterflies, and then um, caterpillars eat, and then have the kids fill in blanks, and so they can learn some of their favorite foods. So the two things I'm thinking for next week with ASL and for the rest of the month we'll do those things because it's caterpillars change into butterflies. So two weeks caterpillars, one week butterfly. There you go. It's the rest of the month. Um, but so we start with the songs, we do ASL, and there's a book, a science lesson of some sort, and today we talked about the parts of the ant body. And then there's a journal and sketchbook time where kids can either like label the animals or um, that type of thing. And then um, sketch the parts or depends on what age they are and what the parent has them do. Um, there could be writing with that. And then there's a book that's read usually while they're sketching and journaling. And then a poem that's read during that same time. And there is an artwork. Um, I wasn't there for the artwork. So like I said, we, st we went and played. And then I, I wrote, oh yeah, artwork. Okay, so then they do art and the poem. And then... Um, they do a nature walk at the end. And then most of the weeks we go to the demonstration garden. But if we go to ponds, we might go to like a wildlife preserve for like pond week or a different part that has a different type of whatever it is that that's the focus that week. But most of the weeks we eat meat at the um, demonstration garden and we can see the garden changing throughout the season. Like it's $20 on Teachers Pay Teachers and other places online. Um, and the print, it's about two, it's over 200 pages. I don't know the exact number. And that doesn't include the poems or the artworks. Um, the artworks are all public domain, so you can get them. And they're on. There's a file floating around. I don't know where the file was found, but it has all of the poems and then the artworks on it. So you can print the whole thing if you choose to. Um, the curriculum does go through all um, every week of the year. So it's not just a school year curriculum, which is great. Cause I think summer, like, it's a great one to continue throughout the summer. Cause it had, like, it's the summer is a great time to intentionally go outside and do walks, right? I would like to just kind of keep doing this every couple years. I think I'm hoping a group will do it next year. And so it'll have a similar feel and just like vibe. I think the cool thing too is, um, like I I've considered homeschooling as part of why I started it, but also I'm like, well, the public school. So like I've been back and forth, but with this class, I, the, the neat element is just like how the families all come together and the kids, um, there's different ages of kids. There's different kids. Like there's still kid problems that are being solved and worked out. I think a lot of homeschool moms, like I think like a lot of homeschool moms <laughs> and just kind of like my hippie, um, like we go and like, we'll go and do an adventure. We'll go, we were, our plan was to go dry or fly to Texas to go see the eclipse and like stuff like that, where stuff like that is very homeschool-esque. Like that's what you, like those, that's great as a homeschool parent. And so um, and like being able to go on a day trip or a couple of days to spend at an art museum or gallery or like that type of thing. Like I just, I love, 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 love that type of thing. And also like the ideas for some of the homeschool classes I want to teach. Oh my God, it'd be so fun. Um, and just, it's very much like before we, before we moved here, I taught um, at an art center for adults with disabilities. And I taught like um, cultural, I taught languages, art classes. I also taught like art history and then um, like cultural diversity and then a cult class on Indian culture, I taught yoga and movement and stretching, like yoga stretch classes as well. And so like, it was so fun because like, I worked with an occupational therapist and so, so anyways, I love, love, love just like the bit like, and like the class I teach in the summer, um, cultural art from around the world. Like I love tailoring things to individual students. And so I think that, um, I think it'd be really fun to teach a homeschool class in the future. Um, so anyway, so part of me is like, if I'm going to teach homeschool classes or consider teaching of some sort, I kind of, it makes sense to do that with my kiddos or kid.
But anyways, I um, just wanted to share this great gallon with you guys. It's such, it's great. I absolutely love it. It's so fun. And we're barely even touching the surface of the curriculum, like what the information that's in it. Um, cause like I said, mine's two. And so we barely use a lot of what's there right now, which is, um, sad, but also great. Cause it's, it's a $20 curriculum that we can use like every year for the next like eight years if, if we chose to. So, okay. That's all. Thank you guys. Bye.